Good morning, my friends. It's Monday, December 18th, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun. Let us light our Advent wreath. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel, that mourns in lonely exile here. Until the Son of God appear, rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Today we are reading Psalm 52, which is a psalm about the crushing, disastrous nature of gossip. It begins with this introit, sort of, this line that Duag, the Edomite, was the one who told Saul that David was hiding with the priest at the house of Ahimelech in Nob. So Doag, the Edomite, don't you love that name, was a blabbermouth. He divulged where David was staying and in so doing put Abimelech and all of the priests of Nob at great risk. He tattled, he gossiped. And as a result, Saul came and slaughtered all the priests of Nob. So the psalmist writes, Disasters your tongue devises, like a well-honed razor doing deceit. What an image, your tongue is like a well-honed razor doing deceit. Careful what you speak. I know I have to be careful. I have a very big propensity to blurt out stuff that I don't need to say. How about you? Have you ever gossiped about someone? Have you ever said negative things that have no reason for you to say them except that that feels good? Have you cut someone down with your tongue like a razor? Watch out, for great evil can begin just with words. And as in the case of Duag, the Abimelite, the Edomite, just by saying something, we can cause great harm to others. Watch that tongue. Help it speak words of love, not words of deceit. Help it build up and not tear down. Think before you speak. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the wisdom and reality of the Psalms, for their depth of humanity, for the lessons they teach us. On this day, help us to only say those things that edify. Help us to watch what we say, that our tongues may not become razors, but rather sources of goodness, expanding the light of the world. Bless those who are suffering, Lord, across the world, be it from war, violence, illness, those who are dying, those who mourn, those who struggle with addiction, those who struggle with mental health, those who find themselves isolated or alone. Comfort and bless all people who suffer, Lord. Bring peace to this earth, wisdom to humanity. Help us to care for this beautiful planet that you've made and bear the light of the world to others. We thank you for the gift of our lives, for the gift of health, friendship and love, good food. And as the, as the holidays draw close, help us to keep in mind those who may be facing loneliness in this season. All this we pray in the name of Jesus the Christ who comes to us as light in the midst of the darkness. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.